Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick tip video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your paint dry really, really, really fast. Alright, so first tip is to use um, flat paints. You always want to use flat paints actually because I, that's like a real, that's an important thing. You want to use flat paints because they dry fast. That's the reason why you want to use them. And some of the flattest paint that you can get are primers. So if you can get a primer, a color that you want, and a primer, it'll dry super, it'll dry super fast. So uh, I'm gonna spray the first layer. And I'm gonna do a few things, and I'm gonna show you how uh, I get my my paintings to dry super fast. All right, here. So I'm about to spray this first layer. So what you wanna do? Always something that's gonna always make your um, your layers dry faster is not spray as much paint. Just spray the very bare minimum. I said it before, but like I said, I'm gonna say a lot of these things over and over again, just because the people who don't see all my videos, they'll um they'll get to they'll get exposure to the important tips or the tips that I think are really important, especially the beginners. Okay, so here, so we're gonna start pretty much the time. Just look at the clock, um, or the time on the video, and see how long this takes. Uh, so, I'm gonna spray this, and then I'm going to blow it with compressed air, and then I'm gonna um, hit it with the heat gun, and we'll see how fast it can dry. So, let's start now. So that's how much time it took to spray the layer. Dry. You don't. It's not like you have to have a compressed uh, an air compressor and blow air on it, and you have to have a heat gun. Uh, other ways you can do it is holding up to like a bright light that gives off a lot of heat. I have a light right there that gives off a lot of heat, so that one's um you that could be used. Um, what else could you use? I guess like a uh, a hair dryer would also work. It's a hair dryer. Is, Essentially the same thing as a heat gun, which is a more um, controlled temperature. Heat guns get a little bit hotter. So, um, but heat guns are really cheap. They can be had for about $10. So, if you have just a little bit of money, then it's definitely a good investment to get a heat gun. Especially if you're one of those new people who are impatient uh, with their paintings. I know when I started off, I was super impatient. So, I put layers down when they weren't fully dry yet and yada yada. So. The heat gun is actually a really good investment, especially if you're going to get into like a lot of paintings or making um, the same painting multiple times and you want to speed up the whole process. So, heat gun is pretty much all you need. Um, the air compressor is just like a nice added touch. I know a lot of you don't have air compressors, so don't really worry about that. But for those of you who do, do have air compressors, then there you go. You can use your air compressor for that. Alright, this one's probably going to be just a little bit loud because I'm going to have a fan going. Um, but what this is, it's just a fan blowing up and then it has a filter. If you look at my paint booth setup video, you'll see pretty much how I set up my entire paint booth. So, for more information, go on. just want to mention that there's a fan up here. And what you can do is, after you spray a layer, if you hold it in front of a fan, that dries it off quicker, quickly too. That's the same concept as the compressed air. It's just getting a lot of air on the surface. And what that does is just, um help dry the paint. So I'm going to spray this layer right here and then I'm going to hold it up there and we see how long that takes to dry. Alright, let's see. And sometimes, um, before I had my air compressor hooked up, uh, and before I got the seat gun, I would actually do this a lot and it works out really fine. It works out fine. And since you're kind of standing around doing nothing when you're waiting for a painting to dry, this is a good way just to set the time down or 
kill the town. So this video is just, a, like I said, just a quick tip video because I want you guys to learn how to dry your paintings faster. And remember the most important part of this whole equation of trying to get your paintings to dry faster is using flat paints or painting paints that are advertised as fast drying, I guess. Um, one particular brand of paint I would really encourage you to stay away from is Krylon. Um, their, um, their solution, I guess, is really um, watery is the best way I can describe it. And so the paint takes a long time to dry and it's, uh, it's really transparent. It's good for things like space paints. You're going to be mixing a lot of colors together anyways. So uh, for that application, it's great. For stencils, it's uh, absolutely terrible. So like I said, uh, just stay away from Krylon pretty much. And just any gloss paint, semi-gloss like this, I wouldn't recommend getting a semi-gloss. This one works out because... I know how to control it at this point, but I know the newer people, you don't understand how long it takes for the paint to dry, you don't understand how much to put on and everything, so it's just going to make your life a whole lot easier if you're using flat paints. And then after you use flat paints for a while, you're only going to want to use flat paints anyways. Uh, in the end, they look better than gloss to me any, uh, in the long run because gloss uh, reflects a lot of light. So if you're looking at a painting in a room with a light, at certain angles you can't see it because it's just reflecting the light and it's just super bright and white. If it's flat, you can see the painting from all angles. So hopefully this uh, video has helped people out. Try keeping it quick. It got a little bit longer than I wanted to, but yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. So uh, see you guys later.